Hi there, welcome back to Simon Says. My name's Simon, and today we're gonna to talk about a really interesting topic, using ChatGPT to create Home Assistant code. So recently I started playing around with this OpenAI platform and ChatGPT, which to me is quite amazing. It's just incredible what this product can do. So effectively you can type in a request and it will just search the internet and basically create a response for you. Um, so it's very clever. So it can write, for example, code for um, any type of software. You can, for example, even put in code that's not working and ask it what it's perhaps why it's creating errors or not working. So what I thought is let's try and see how this system does with Home Assistant YAML code. Personally, I'm not a coder and I don't have any much luck unless I can find code that I can paste out of a um, uh, an article somewhere. I really, really struggle with YAML code. So let's see what this product does. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna create a Home Assistant YAML code to connect to a uh, influx db let's see what it does now so i've typed that in immediately response the response time is just incredible and i believe that this is a huge number of people are accessing this website literally millions every day so there we go as easy as that influx db host port database username and password isn't that amazing so quick just like it um, so it's even then going on further to tell you how you could run queries against the database so it actually goes that step further and advises you on further options all right so that was a really simple one let's try something a little bit more difficult um, create home assistant yaml code to read temp uh, let's say humidity sensor and turn a fan on if it exceeds 60 percent let's see what it does with that all right once again immediate response from this device um, and it's talking about creating a accessing your configuration.yaml um, so it's now using a mqtt basically let's just have a look here so it's creating a sensor and it's then creating the fan so it's obviously um, deciding it's going to access the fan via mqtt um, so there we go it's saying create the fan and then it's creating the automation so this is just phenomenal what it's doing. Isn't that amazing? So it's offering you a whole lot of options here. Uh, we could of course tell it not to use MQTT and do it directly, but this is just amazing. So I'm gonna try another one. Let's see what happens if we decide to do a um, an ESP home. Create ESP home YAML code to read a DHT22. Really simple, but let's see what it does. Just like this, immediately is responding. It knows that the DHT is a sensor and it's going in there. Platform DHT, select your pin, update interval, and giving it a name. This is amazing. Please let me know in the comments what you think of this and play around with it and see how it works for you and let me know what you can do with it. That's all for me now. Have a great week. Bye then.